thanks for joining us today. This is an instructional video on remotely locking your Windows devices with DriveStrike. First, you're going to log into your DriveStrike console, and from the dashboard, you'll select the Windows device that you want to lock. You can go over here and issue the remote lock. It may take one or two minutes for the command to be completed. One important detail to note about this process is that whenever you're doing a remote lock on a Windows device, if the device is part of a domain and Active Directory users are logging into that machine with domain credentials, they will be able to log into that machine. Uh, the reason for that is they're actually authenticating to the domain server and not the physical local device. If it's not on a domain, DriveStrike is going to clear all the domain credentials as well as deactivate all of the local users that are on that machine. They won't be able to log into that machine in safe mode or any other mode until you issue a remote unlock command from within DriveStrike. That being said, I'll attempt to log onto the machine to show you, and you'll see we're unable to do that. Your account has been disabled. Please see your system administrator. Attempts to log in as a different user or with different credentials will also be blocked by DriveStrike. The same is true for any cached domain credentials if they're not on the domain. So if you're trying to lock out a user that is on the domain and off his local machine, you'll want to issue a remote lock on DriveStrike as well as disable that user's domain credentials in Active Directory. So now let's go through the unlock process to remotely unlock this device. Notice that once you issue a lock command, the unlock command becomes available on your dashboard. We also have the history of when the lock was requested and when it was executed for that particular device. Now let's go ahead and issue the unlock command, which will restore all of the accounts. Unlocking the machine will not restore the cache domain credentials, but it will restore all of the local accounts and credentials. Okay, now that we know the device is unlocked, we can log back into the machine without any problems. And that concludes our lock and unlock instructional video. If you have any questions, please feel free to give us a call at 877-375-2468 or send us an email, support at drivestrike.com.